Welcome back to the Nightlife Podcast, Season 4, Episode 2, guys. Um, and we continue to be quarantined. We continue with these crazy times that we're living, um, this uh, pandemia. But uh, we just cannot continue to complain about it. We have to start looking for solutions. We have to start looking for you know, ways to get that out of our heads, out of our minds. So that's one of the reasons I decided to go this route. Um, even though we are going to be looking at a at a problem, um, we're going to look at the bright side of it, and we're going to try to find, you know, see what some people are doing um, when they're getting stuck, basically, or many are getting stuck. Today, we are going to look at the music industry and how COVID has affected it. Also, we're going to look at different things that are happening, ways, um, you know, uh, working on those issues and and figuring out how um, I guess artists can be able to either perform or be active or continue to uh, bring out new music or you know whatever it may be. So for that, I am not the expert. Um, I will bring I'm bringing not one but two people into the show today. Uh, one has been here before, and you guys have known him as something completely different, which is actually. Uh, social media expert, which we'll touch on something about that too. But um, uh, without further ado, let me bring in today's uh, guest. First of all, uh, Gali, how are you, my friend? And Ruben, how are you guys? Salud, Julio. Salud. Thank you for having us. Hey, salud. By the way, you guys, uh, if you guys cannot see my beard, it's because um, it is green. So that's why you can, the green screen won't let you see it. Um, so, guys, why don't you tell why don't you tell um, the audience a little bit about what you guys do together? Um, don't get too personal, please. <laughs> well, Ru Ruben and I have uh, been playing um, in, the, in the Miami scene in, in many different projects for the past ten years together. And uh, as as of 2020, we started with this new project called La Tribu Royal, which is um, a Latin fusion band from Miami. We're, we're six members. Um, we all have different backgrounds of music, and we come together in this one project uh, called Latino Royal. We started doing new music uh, in January, and we just released our third single, Holiday, uh, four weeks ago. So January of this year, you started doing new music. But together you have... Yeah, we, we felt like 2020 was uh, was a good year. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> we thought... Uh, to release music because of the whole 2020, you know, design of the, and you know, we're 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 trying to adjust of all the stuff that are going on now. But yeah, we started on releasing music as La Tribu Royal as of January 2020. Got it. And, but you guys have been doing music together for a while before, correct? Uh, different bands, different other things. Yeah, we actually uh, we've been playing together for over 10 years and. We actually participated in many different projects, and uh, we've been play, playing together for all this time for like such a variety of audiences, especially right. in Miami, Mexico, New York. But yeah. when uh, we decided to create La Tribu Royal as a brand, as a, as a new name, uh, it, it was actually recent. It was actually last year, and we released our first song in January, like like Julia said. I see. So. Obviously, January, um, we had uh, in January heard about this thing that was happening in China. Nothing over here, nothing. Maybe we started to hear a little bit about, oh, some people are getting sick in Europe, in Spain and Italy, maybe a little bit of that um, around that time. I don't think anything in any way that any of us could have uh, by any chance expected or thought of a uh, possibility of anything happened this year maybe maybe thinking okay so that's something that might come over here but it'll just you know come and go um, as most expected you know as a matter of fact I decided to get into back into own uh, ownership and into a restaurant as you know Julio and um, uh, 2020 sounded like a good year for that too um, for us the opening of the restaurant was supposed it was supposed to be March 20th which was actually like first or second week of completely, you know, complete shutdown uh, here in Miami. Now, so tell me, um, you know, I suppose that the one of the most important things when it comes to to uh, 
you know, for, uh, mus the music industry in general is live performance, correct? Yeah, so so that's how we started. We got together as a as a live band form, performing every week. We, we used to have weekly shows um, here in, in the city of Miami. Uh, that's how we got together to, to, to play because we both were the projects and then we just uh, met once a week to do weekly shows for us. And then we started as a beat or song. Uh, we didn't have anything on social. Uh, Spotify or YouTube, so it was great to see how people were learning just by playing our shows. So live shows have been like a DNA for Latin for a very long time already. Uh, mm -hmm. So we've been trying to struggle. We've been struggling to adapt, but we we I think we have a plan for at least the you know the twenty the rest of 2020, uh, which is something that we want to talk about how okay. we're adapting to not only record. We're only figured out, uh, figuring out how to do live shows and still do what we love, you know, which right. is what, we, what music is about. So, so, so just to give people a little perspective as to, you know, what the music industry is, is, is all about and everything. I mean, live performance is a huge deal. I mean, I can tell you guys that just from closing for six months, uh, the music industry in general was, you know, was hurt by not receiving $10 billion in sponsorships alone. Um, you know, it, it's an industry that, you know, a big, a big part of it was live performance, you know, live, live music, live entertainment, um, concerts, big concerts or small concerts. You know, some people may, may, may only look at live music as to their, the huge concerts in their, in their cities. But, but when we talk about all the small venues around the country and around the world, um, where live music is, is a big part of the whole concept. Um, that has also been affected, and that's where you guys come in mainly, in, 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 you know, in that atmosphere, for example. Now, on on the other hand, then you have live streaming, which is something, this, you know, music streaming, which is something that has been, uh, you know, coming up probably since, uh, from what I know, around 2014, 15, 16, they started to go up a little bit, you know, uh, but I believe that streaming was around nine percent of what the industry income used to be whereas to today we're talking about 47 almost 50 percent of the income is from streaming so imagine you know how important it, be it becomes how important platforms like spotify which i know that you've always been you know there when it comes to spotify i know you've always been on it um so 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 tell me a little bit about that how how uh, the adaptation where we're where does one have to go when, you know, as a performer in, in general? I mean, because because I can give you a little bit of feedback as to what, you know, venue owners have to do. And, you know, but at the moment is closing, <laughs> really. You know, there's not much um, they can really do. I know at first, for example, everybody started doing live, you know, live streaming on on their Instagrams, you know, Facebook lives, that kind of thing. But everything that I saw, either DJs or, or um, artists, uh, when they were doing any of that stuff, I didn't see any any monetization of this process. It was really more of let me show that I'm here still, and let me let you know allowing people to to know that you're still around, that you have not gone anywhere. You know, kind of like that regular uh, post on social media and and letting people know in your stories that you're still there. Um, now, when it comes to music, you know, it, this is um, how you guys make a living. So. So where where um you know how do you start to adapt what 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 do you recommend to the people or what are you guys doing what is what are your 2020 plans <laughs> Well uh it's a process of adaptation cuz basically we are just uh creating what's actually going to be our manual of procedure for the future so we're doing a lot of testing definitely we're we're learning to work remotely we're actually independently uh, learning how to operate different equipment and and use technology in a way for us to create a profitable profitable business and in a way for us to create a, a lifestyle at the same time so it's a work in progress so we're doing as much as we can to integrate 
and to understand the moment that we're going through and the limitations that we have as a, as an actual uh, business that we're trying to run here. Right. And and it, it's it's an entire industry that was affected by this. Like if you think about it, like you said it. Mm, Imagine how many performers out there ha have had to figure out from one moment to another how to run what they were usually doing. I mean, if, even for ourselves, like we used to play almost weekly. We used to be uh, really out there and, and we just had to reinvent how the operations of our brand are going to develop in order for us to continue uh, swimming in this uh, ocean right. called the music industry. Right. So, so it's definitely a time so, for reinvention. That's us. One hundred percent. You you must um, reinvent. I'm I'm glad to to see that. What I am not hearing is one one thing that um I have been hearing a lot from a lot of people, which is just do something else. Do something different. Go go try to <laughs> you know. You guys are artists. You guys, you know, I mean, if you guys see these people perform, you will see what I'm talking about. You know, and 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 I talk about you because I know I've seen you guys on stage. I've seen you as as different, you know, projects. And this one, by the way, I love. Um, but but in general, any artist, you know. And for example, I've been in this industry over 25 years. You tell me to go do something different than to be at a club or you know working in the industry in general in entertainment whatever it may be there's just no way not not because you can't go and do something else because you probably could go learn do something else but um this is you know we were lucky to find something that we really love um and that we have you know i guess in your case you have a talent for it so um so yeah, so reinvention is a must if you consider yourself an artist and you plan on staying around, not just 2020 for the rest of this year, but for what's coming after and the possibility of something else like this coming again and you being ready for it, right? I think it's, 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 it, it, that's exactly it. I mean, reinvention and not being scared of, cha of changing, you know, like I, I hear a lot of people waiting for the world to come back to normal and, I, and they don't realize that this is a normal, you know, this is this is what the normal is. So you have to, as an artist, try to find ways to not only monetize, which is what Ruben was saying, we're, we're setting up a platform of content where we're able to not only release music, but we're thinking of also um, you know, venturing into some podcasts where we can talk to producers and other musician friends. We we we're thinking of doing um, a clinics of like drum clinics of how to learn some techniques uh, using our drummer. You know, we're trying to use all of our uh, talents to make sure that no, not in 2020, but from 2020 on, we're we're making sure that we can set up a platform of content where we won't be uh, depending so much of, of going out there and play, but we can make sure that we can all do what we love, which is music. You know? Correct, correct. Um, so, can you elaborate a little bit more into those ideas? Um, examples of of the the different things that you guys have already been doing or 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 building so we we started uh the first thing we're doing is we, we're recording uh, a lot of uh versions of classic songs in in the style of la tribu royal uh to build that content that will allow us to start monetizing because like i said we started our youtube channel on January and as of today we are doing in the last three weeks we were we reached our 300 subscribers so as you know you need a certain amount of subscribers and hours to be able to monetize so right now we're creating a bunch of content to first get us to that step first step of being able to monetize and then when we start monetizing we're gonna uh, try to do uh, uh, like pieces of content that people would not only be entertained but also be educated in a sense that they're encouraged to find their own talent and be and, and translate it into a, monet, a monetization system you know as you know I, uh, I have a lot of experience in the social media marketing I come from a background of 
of doing uh, campaigns for record labels and, and companies just like, you know, LMG and, and, and Universal right. Music. And, you know, so um, we're just applying all those tools uh, and combining them with their talent and, and, you know, creating just creative content that, that will eventually be a way of, of monetization for us and, and also looking to inspire musicians to not be afraid of the changes of not being able to go out and play a show, but encourage them to do content that will live on a platform that will make money for them, you know? Correct. Um, Gali, let me ask you a question. When, um, you know, before all this, uh, uh, when, you know, you mentioned working with us, with LMG, there was something that um, that I that I used to see, and I, I only knew about this uh, through you, which was actually, you know, artists were bringing out, you know, new co new songs, new content, like, on a weekly basis, um, it's something that was completely different to back in the day when you would just come up with a, a, a new LP, a, a new CD or, or a, you know, a disc or you needed the, the whole 12, 14 songs, whatever it was. And, and then you come up, you know, once a year or every two years or whatever. N now it just became that it was a, a weekly thing. Um, talking specifically about for example, the the uh, reggaeton uh, industry, which which is the one that, that we used to hire the most to, to perform in our in our events. Now, um, have things changed in that sense? Because I I can't tell you that I can now honestly go out there and say, yeah, I heard the new song from this guy or that other guy or whatever. Like I don't I don't know what's happening. So definitely, man. I mean, that's something that I predicted when we started uh, the, the whole quarantine. I, I, I talked to Ren about it. We had a discussion about how songs are not going to be um, become popular as they used to because songs, in my opinion, the, the urban song, again, songs were, do become popular when people are in the club. So they, they have a need to dance, so they, they, they look for these, uh, you know, reggaeton beats to go in the club and dance. So right. right now, people are looking for songs that are more in a in a relaxed vibe, uh, want to listen to whole albums. So in, in one of the big changes that I've seen is like reggaeton artists putting together albums. Uh, this Friday, uh, last Thursday, uh, with uh, Yandel did a release of, of a 28-song album. Plus, like almost 30 songs, it was something like that. Because people want to make sure that they listen to a whole thing now because they're not only depending on that hit song when they hear it at the club, but they have time to listen to their music when they're doing homework or or, or, or any other activity at home. But not only the, the genre is changing, but also the, the way the music is being produced and written. Um, the whole reggaeton beat which is uh, it relies a lot in the low end beats because all of the music that has a, a powerful kick when you hear that bass is what makes you dance so there's no need to dance right now <laughs> right a lot of people steering away from that and making a lot of chill music a lot of uh ballads a lot of trap i think is, is one of the things that is going to keep growing so we're doing a whole reggae influence because we feel like it's it's a it's a nice vibe to feel good while I, while at home you know right and 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 that's one of the, the main changes that i see i mean it's going to be harder a, a lot of songs have come out I, you see jay balvin put a song with uh bad bunny and alipa and you know it was it was news the first day that came out but nobody's talking about it anymore that's it because right. no nobody's going to the clubs and listening to the songs on their environment, you know? Correct. So I think that we go back to what you were talking about of this time, it's a time to adapt and right. expand your talent and try new things, you know? Right. I think if you have the ability to write songs, is it, this is a good time to be creative and forget about, you know, the mainstream and just be yourself, you know? Correct. So now let me ask you a question. When you guys came up with this new concept, did you already, I mean, like we said, we didn't know what was going to happen this year. But was it a coincidence, the fact that things went in this in towards this vibe and that your music is also, you know, in that direction or or, or was this were you behind the whole COVID thing? <laughs> hmm. 
Wait, I lost. Ruben, creo que estás en mute, Ruben. Yeah, there you are. You're back. Um, I don't know if you know uh, about Aikido, the martial art, right? Right. Do you know that the basic principle on it is to transform the negative into positive, to receive the attack and turn it back around. So I would say that it's a coincidence within a coincidence bigger than, than the one uh, that is actually happening. Because, I mean, we're just going through this and we need to figure out a way that we can actually do make our dreams come true and do keep our word to ourselves and, and to keep working in our plan. And and uh, so uh, we're here, we're uh, making it happen, putting music out, creating a new business plan, putting new ideas, new songs, and we're very excited. And we weren't really expecting it to like be connecting with so many people. Like we're literally getting messages from all over the world right now. And it's crazy. And I'm very thankful about that. And, and I just want to keep working that give us uh, more gas in order for us to, to keep building. Uh, but yeah, a little unexpected and a little bit of coincidence at the same time. But, right. but we're here. Right. <laughs> I suppose you miss being on top of a stage my god <laughs> oh my god that you have no idea that's wow like being on top of a stage is literally the best feeling you could literally get like it, it's it's something that i because it's just, it's not just about being there it's about the connection that you create with the crowd and even if it's a smaller crowd 15 people 25 people 30 people that's amazing with the vibe that you can get it's a moment to remember that you can only keep to yourself. And, and, and yes, we all miss it a lot. Like last year, we had a record year. We played over 70 shows, right. 70 or 80 shows, I think. And and imagine, but I mean, we'll we'll get there. We're working on an idea as well that we haven't really mentioned yet because we're still planning, but we're doing an Instagram tour. So we're like taking over certain Instagram accounts um, from different bars uh, around the, the, the States. And since, like you said, they're very affected because they're not producing as much as they were, we're, we're going to try to keep them doing some promotion and of a show, let's say, at X place in New York City, X place in Los Angeles, so the local people can have the experience of seeing us performing live. And, and that's as close as we get, as it gets. And right. hopefully, like, this situation will be over soon and, and we can... Right. Take advantage. Let me let me ask you a question. If if you know talking to to different artists that are out there, you know all over Europe, Canada, you know Asia, and and here in the U.S., would you recommend to the ones who make a living one hundred percent on top of a stage to look for something else while this is happening, or are there ways already um looking at monetizing this already that can definitely work and basically you know support a home because um and especially outside of this country because because over here we are lucky we are lucky we're able to receive some help you know from from the government we have you know it's it's not a a, a country it's, it's it's a rich country and 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 it can you know uh, help in that in that way um but but there are many many countries especially where we come from you know in, in latin america where where it's gonna be it, it's tough already but you know the more time that goes by it's gonna get worse uh you know so, so i don't know what are your thoughts what what do you what what do you recommend i mean well in 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 my opinion uh one of the things that i see and it's something that you did a few years ago, and I, and I really admire your 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 passion for for your podcast and and, and your transition from uh, a book writer, a promoter to a book writer, and then to a you know a podcaster. I mean, I think anybody, you the way that people now are gonna be able to stay afloat is by reinventing not what they do, but reinventing their talent. You know, if you're a drummer. Uh, and you used to going on tour with a certain band and, and, and you used to do 300 shows a year because I know friends that will play for huge artists that are not playing right now. Like 
right. you think about you know Pitbull's drummer, uh, you know. I don't know, Maluma's guitar player. Or, right. You know, big artists, big people that are used to a paycheck and, you know, is is now is the time, if they didn't do it before like you did, now is the time to start thinking of, of going digital somehow. You know, right. teach people how to play the guitar. Uh, you know, start doing podcasts of talking about your experience on tour. You know, it, it's, now is the time to get your talent to create content that will eventually monetize and i say eventually because this is a very important thing it's not you know it's not an overnight thing to oh. get to the point where you monetize and make money out of your content right. but it is a certain it's a, it's a thing that if you do constantly and you have a plan you eventually get there you know so right. i think that that's one of the the advice that i can give those people that are, are used to being uh playing and in and, and venues and doing going in concerts and tours now is the time to think about and a strategy where you can go online and, and, and start creating content, you know, Th this is the right. moment. Right. So I know that right now there's there's some things, for example, here in the U.S. in, in government that they're they're fighting for and they're trying to get through Congress that have to do with helping in the restaurant industry and some of the bars and all this, you know, um, and, uh, you know, there are possibilities that some of those venues may end up having some budget to spend on what used to be their expenses and that includes their staff and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping that some of those venues um, remember, you know, because I'm going to I'm going to tell you something. You and us, uh, us. And when I say us, I mean us as like LMG and any promoter out there um, are on a separate boat than the rest of the staff. Everybody that is part of the venue, you know, direct staff of the venue. The minute that a venue receives help for their staff, they go, boom, this this is for you guys or whatever, you know, or they bring them back first because they are going to open, you know, 50% capacity or whatever, you know, low budget. But um, w we are basically the last to come back in a, in a way, you know. Um, so it would be nice to see some of those venues, you know, actually taking some of that budget and spending it on you know on 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 promoters to get a you know let, just thinking out loud you know what you guys mentioned the idea of doing a a possibility of a of a of an instagram tour of a live tour for example it's it's an amazing thing um but it is most likely going to be promotional at this moment but it could become something that if the venue has the money and it's been given by the government it is you know not just to pay for the rent for the guy that owns that that there but those other Uh, people that also need a job and you know um, you are entertaining people you know um, you uh, it could pay for the for for you guys time and your performance and your talent and what you are doing and it could also get some promoters to promote that event live and get a commission from whatever it is and make it a paid event you know somehow um, or a, or a donation for the staff or whatever just I mean, people are willing to to put their their money where their mouth is, you know. Uh, when it comes to helping, and they they realize what we're going through. Um, a lot of people are lucky to have their jobs and haven't been affected. Uh, we are in an industry that is that I believe we are gonna come back. We are gonna come back stronger. It's not. It, I mean, I've heard people talking about the possibility of this disappearing and changing completely. Changes are gonna happen, and, and this is gonna make us basically. It already is making us look at it in different ways. You know, to be prepared for things like this to not happen again, or or if when they happen again, um, be ready for them. You know, so I'm sure there are possibilities out there. It's just you gotta think outside the box. But what I like the most is what you said is the fact that what you need to reinvent is your own talent. It's not try to be something else. You know, there is no point in becoming an accountant now. It's too late. <laughs> you know yeah, 100 percent. yeah I mean. count count the days till you're back on a stage that's the only thing you should be counting um but um and 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 going back to that like if like when we did a holiday which is our our, our single that we did i mean we we thought like okay is this we almost didn't shoot the video because we're like oh my god like is it really worth it like you know how are we gonna do it and, and man you know like now is the time to think of Of, of just going at it and do it you know now is the time to be digital and, right. and and if you didn't see it two years ago or three years ago like we did like we like when i transitioned from an artist to a 
a digital marketer to a, a campaign manager for labels and I started seeing how that business was what could lead to making money just the same as you did now is the time to do it if you are at home don't just sit at home and complain oh my god I wish I I can be playing the guitar you know no try to find ways to to start recording yourself and start doing content you know and and, and we did that with 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 holiday we took all the measurements with all of the staff were using masks we were we were you know uh, placed in, in, a, in a safe distance from each other and and we recorded the song remotely as well like Alejandro which is like our guitar player had no experience recording nothing right. and, and we we helped him through the process of first buying a sound card uh, monitors what what uh, microphone to buy we will do zoom meetings of how to we, we, we would discuss about, uh, you know, record, and we did it. You know, it was the first time that he did something like that. It, it may not be perfect, but it set him up and, and prepared him to be able to do this. Now we're recording our third song remotely. So you, you see the process working, you know. If you awesome. adapt your, your talent to, to the, the needs of today, it's not, yeah. you know, Going and like you said, and going to be an accountant or, or or be an Uber driver. If you really need to, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. But if you are able to to reinvent your talent, I'm sure that you'll be able to find a way to 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 do a living in the near future. You know. Right. If you're driving an Uber, make sure you're playing your music at all times. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so make sure you're playing Holiday by Trigo Royal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So holiday. By the way, let's let's get into your music for a minute. Holiday. Talk to me about the song. Where 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 does the whole idea come from? Where, what what? I mean, holiday. Just I'll give an introduction, and then Ruben can speak to you about the the whole video thing, because he's the director of the video with a uh, uh, this other guy called Sam Sammy from uh, Dominican Republic. Great job on the on the direction. But the song I. I started writing that song while I was on vacation with my wife. So I, I wrote this song about my wife and I compared her uh, curves of the, how to the ocean. So that's how Holiday came out. It came out on a holiday, on a vacation. So when I came back from vacation, I met with the guys and then we finished writing the lyrics and the music. And and it was just, like Ruben said, good timing and coincidence that we finished the song writing Quarantine because we were able to relate it to the time. And and it's a beautiful song, in my opinion. I think it makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy. Uh, yeah. It takes, it, it, it grabs you and puts you in a place where you want to be, which is like nice beach, you know, right. vacation vibe. And, and, you know, Ruben can talk to you about more hey, of the video, what it, the video is about. It made me want to grab a beer today. So, you know, <laughs> that says something. <laughs> Salud. No, and um, basically, like, we're very happy with the result, uh, and right now we're uh, implementing the same technique in what's coming next. Uh, we're actually this Saturday we're going to be recording a new music video, and we're like following this the manual that we started with Holiday, which is like how like how to shoot a music video during a pandemic. <laughs> so right. we, we're writing that book, and and that's that's what's exciting to me, like the entire process of of creating the new music business era and creating the new how-to, like guide to become an independent artist and create your own record label, do your own music, do your own visuals and, and do your own marketing, especially connect to the people, perform your music, write your music, record it, mix it, master it. And, and, and it's like every day it's a learning process. Every day it's a new adventure, but um, I'm very confident in, in my team. We're very connected and we all have the same goal so um i'm just very happy with the result of the video i, I um, what, what can you say julio julio as in that julio julio square i think it, it, it one of the most things that 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 i'm happy about just not only that we already broken um went past 170,000 views in just four months for an independent band we, we're not you know we have the knowledge we have we have some knowledge of marketing and how to reach people but the real result is that we're connecting with the right audience because uh, the the comments in the in the video have been extremely exciting to see people write things like oh i'm 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 with 
I'm, I have coronavirus right now, and and I found your song uh, through an ad, and I, right. and I went and checked out the, the the video, and it made me feel better. It made right. me feel not so sick. So we 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 realized that we have a, a how to, like Ruben said. You know, we right. create the music, we record it, we shoot the video, we can do a marketing, and, and that's one one of the things that I wanted to speak to your audience about. You know, if you follow the rule the steps that you provide as well uh julio you know i think your audience will be able to find a way to to transition to this to new digital era that, that we're all living you know it's possible we are uh, an example of that you know and Correct. and a, a lot of results uh that we are creating is because we're not scared to try new things you know we're just going at it and 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 we're repeating and making a, a system where we we can grow and get to that point where we're able to you know monetize and and and, and do things right you know? right you know what's funny um i i at the, at the beginning of the pandemia i i was looking at the lives that that the different artists were doing and the biggest names the bigger bigger names were the ones having the most trouble actually getting the camera right or the audio correct or you know the mic where it was supposed to or turning it on or off or you know because they were at home by themselves when they're used to having so many people help them do everything for them while the ones you know in a completely different situation but with some knowledge of what social media um and this whole you know new era that we're in is all about we're completely killing it in that sense you know i mean of course in the end people you know are following you know the big names and and of course you know if 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 juan is gets gets together you know with fonseca at home and they start singing together and doesn't matter if it's in the garage with whatever background the people don't really care about that anymore as a matter of fact people want to see the more real um uh, you know from you as as it can be um, which is something I love also because I think most artists want to show the real selves, you know, uh, it's not, you know, so so this is an opportunity for everybody that wants to show their true selves, um, you know, that artistic side of you and, and not be afraid and and not think that anybody's going to be looking at you funny or weird or whatever, you know, the, the, the weirdest ones are the ones that actually make it, the ones that are going to be different, you know, so it's a good time and, 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 and it's a it's great that you say that because you can relate that to your personal experience you know when you are an nightlife a promoter or entrepreneur the people that come to you are because they know that you're genuine and you they you do things not in a you know we always we talked about this a bunch of times you know how you're not supposed to rent a ferrari and do like a whole video pretend to be something you're not you know what i mean right people are not really they don't they already have that and there are certain things there's certain channels for that thing those things you know in, in music now is a good time to to be yourself you know and uh, we were talking about holiday the holiday song how you say like oh i was a little chunky or whatever my hair was long look at my look at me now you know like <laughs> I'm, uh, right now is the time and and to take away all the filters because you know everybody's at home everybody can connect with you in in a, in a personal level right. and i think that's this is a good time to create audience to create a fan base and, and just by being yourself you know there's nothing to hide there's nothing to Correct. to to it's not make believe everybody we have one thing in common is that we are all going through this together you know yes so i encourage everybody to 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 just be yourself and, and do what you love and find a way to to you know to to just be real i think that's that's one of the things that i want to tell your audience it's very important for me and, and Ruben and everybody from the band uh we're very ourselves you know, we're not trying to be something we're not and and you know we're just trying to make good music and and make everybody happy i think that's one of the goals of la tribu royal for right. for this year especially right i agree 100 percent um so yeah so i think with that i it, it's a good way to leave this um now i'm gonna try to do something um before you know before leaving and it's actually i'm gonna try to put on the video of holiday at the end of the episode um 
I'm hoping that I can technically do it. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna do that at, at the end after 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 you guys are gone, um, and then we'll see people's reaction. But that but I but I but I heard the song. I heard the song. I danced to the song. I played the song for my kids, which is always um, how I test music. And they were running around, jumping around, and it was a great vibe. They you know they enjoyed it and. Uh, and a good thing it just gets stuck in you and again it made me grab a beer um so that, that is always good I, I i believe 100 guys that um that that music is one of the things that is keeping us sane throughout this time so so i thank you guys for continuing to pursue you know your 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 dream you know what you love your passion um because we need it imagine imagine a world i mean we're already right now with a world without the bars you know and you have and people are realizing that we are more than just a bar and a place to drink you know we are the cheapest psychologists you can get out there <laughs> um there's there's so many things that we do you know at, at the bars at the clubs um you know when it comes to socializing and, and our, our regular lives you know restaurants are suffering now and everything you know but music Music, imagine a world without music. You just, you know, try to imagine that. How scary and how awful it would be. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you for what you do. Guys, where can people uh, find you? Because we did run out of time. Well, we are in every single social media under the name of La Tribu Royale. Uh, that's uh, L-A-T-R-I-B-U. And then Royale, the word, and that's our website as well, letrivoroyale.com. And thank you very much for the opportunity for being here at the Nightlife Entrepreneur. We actually, I'm actually your fan, and and well, you've been there through our our career through the years. So we have a, a definite connection. So I'm very happy to be a part of this, and uh, I know Julio is as well. So thank you. That's it. Let Always thankful. Thank you. Always. Always thankful, Julio, for, for your time and for your platform. I think you're doing an amazing job for everybody that's listen, listening to you and growing with you and learning from you. And, and thank you for your time. And, and, and it's great that we are encouraging people to just, you know, be yourself and use your talent and, and, and it will get you places uh, for sure. So thank you so much. No, thank you, guys. Um, and remember, guys, uh, you can find my book, on Amazon, The Nightlife Entrepreneur. On Amazon, you can follow me on Instagram as The Nightlife Entrepreneur. You find everything else basically at nightlife.university, all the courses, you know, groups and Facebook. Just go there. Watch. You can watch the podcast there actually at nightlifepodcast.com or you can go to the Nightlife University and it's there too. Um, and, you know, I'm going to leave you guys with the music and see you next week. Baby, the sun is out so bright today. I probably need some holiday. Everything feels so good with you, girl. I'll take you down to the beach. Feel your body next to me. Everything feels so good with you, girl. And maybe we'll go swimming in the sea. It's hard to look away when you're with me Your body's like the ocean Curvy waves in motion Come and get your body next to me And maybe we'll go swimming in the sea It's hard to look away when you're with me Your body's like the ocean Curvy waves in motion Come and get your body next to me Y el sol nos está esperando Y ya comienza un nuevo día Visitemos los lugares que tú siempre me decías Madrugadas de aventuras en un barco imaginario Navegando tu cintura Naufragando entre tus labios nos vamos de vacaciones Olvidamos los problemas Relajémonos un rato y nos tiramos en la arena Yo estoy cansado de esta cuarentena Quiero vacaciones en tus nalgas nena Curvy ways in motion Come and get your body next to me And maybe we'll go swimming in the sea 
It's hard to look away when you're with me Yeah, your body's like the ocean Curvy waves in motion Come and get your body next to me Cause nothing makes me feel the way 